right now. I'm excited to be next to these guys. And Jonathan, my first question for you, best team in CONCACAF, who you got? Who's the best? <laughs> I guess the, I would say the team that finished first. In oh, the is that how it works? Okay, anyone have anything to say about that up here? No, we're, we're going to leave it to the play on the pitch. Okay, either way, Christian, we just were so excited about Philadelphia and all the other host cities. What other cities stand out to you? Any that you're looking forward to? Just your reaction to the news. I think Miami is a really exciting one for me. Uh, wow. You know, my family's living down there now, and uh, that's going to be an amazing uh, atmosphere for sure. But really all of them, just to be in this continent, it's going to be special. Chucky, when you think about playing a World Cup on home soil for Mexico, it just what emotion jumps out to you to have that moment. Eh, yo creo que es una emoción muy importante porque son tres mundiales en, en México, en, en mi país. Y bueno, yo creo que para un futbolista es algo increíble que, que sea en un mundial en tu país y bueno, para mí es algo especial. Well, it's a very special moment and I so appreciate all of you guys being here. Thank you very much. I know the fans are happy to see all of these faces. 2026 could not come soon enough. I'm going to send it back upstairs. Pulisic. all of those host cities. So I'm putting you on the spot here. Have you had any time to think about maybe where you'd want to have a semi-plate or a final? What stands out? To be honest, there's so many amazing cities on there. I mean, looking at New York City, Dallas, I mean, they've got to be in the contention. Yeah. Uh, but really, all those cities I would be thrilled to play in. And the U.S. will be in that, those games, right? The semifinal and final, exactly. maybe, for a first of time. Of course, uh, Look, I, I want to go back to 1994. I was joking with Alexi saying that I was nine years old when the Men's World Cup was here. And just the way that it transformed the game. Can you put yourself four years from now, 2026, and what you think the impact will be of a World Cup here in the United States, Canada, and Mexico? I mean, it should be immense, like you said, dealing with after that World Cup in the U.S. and seeing how soccer has really taken off in this country, and I'm hoping that it can do exactly the same thing. I mean, it's grown so much in my lifetime, and uh, I'm hoping that it can even take that next step. Boy, well, uh, you're making us feel old because you were around for 94. We actually were. Christian, I know you guys are focusing on Qatar. We're getting so close. It's a young squad. But when you think about this young group that will have the ability to grow together before 26, how much does that excite you? It's very exciting. We have a, a young team, but a very hungry team and a confident team, which I think is the most important. And uh, we're going to go into this World Cup with, uh, with all the confidence in the world. And, you know, hopefully come 2026, we're going to have a, a really strong team. Uh, well, that's one of the things I want to ask you. So we're going into 2022, November, your first game on the opening day of the World Cup against Wales. I mean, for fans out there, all these wonderful fans will be watching yes, it live ready? on Fox Sports. What should our realistic expectations and what are your expectations for this team at that tournament? I truly believe that the sky's the limit. I think we're going to go in there confident, like I mentioned. And uh, I mean, you know, you make it out of the group and you get into those knockout stages and anything can happen. You know, with that American spirit, especially and all these amazing fans behind us, I think uh, I think we can really, uh, yeah, have a, a great World Cup. Well, we've been there in the stadiums. You don't have to worry about the mud anymore, so you, you'll be oh, fine. Oh, boy, we got that out of the way. <laughs> Christian, thank you. We cannot wait to see you in Qatar. 158 days away. Guys, let's keep the celebration going out here. Back in the men's national team star. On, uh, oh, we are joined by Hershey, Pennsylvania native Christian Pulisic. The fans are excited to see him. And uh, Christian, I want to ask you, just back for your match uh, against El Salvador, how many showers did you need? Because U.S. Soccer posted a pretty muddy picture of you after that one. Yeah, it definitely took a while. I was in there <laughs> scrubbing away, and uh, I remember 30 minutes after, I would, like, scratch my ear, and I still had some mud in there, and I was really working to get it all out. So it was uh, interesting conditions, but I'm happy we got through it. Very interesting conditions. And you know where I'm going to go here, Philadelphia. This is a big deal for you. I mean, how proud are you to be able to think about 2026, and you'll be able to play in front of friends and family for that one? Yeah, I mean, it's surreal. I've played in Philadelphia a couple times, and uh, it's an amazing city. And being from Pennsylvania myself, uh, I mean, that's really terrific. So I'm looking forward to that one. Take me back to young Christian, dreaming of playing at a World Cup. I know, of course, it's coming up soon in Qatar. But just what are your emotions in this moment, knowing it'll be in the United States? Yeah, it's amazing. Obviously, we have this one to focus on in Qatar, first of all, but just so many memories growing up, watching with my family in the basement, watching the World Cups and, uh, yeah, to be a part of it and then to have one in, in you know, in this country is going to be, uh, it's going to be amazing. Well, we're counting, of course, uh, to Qatar, 158 days, if I have that right. You guys are excited. I know everyone's excited for that one. So, Christian, lastly, where are you at in terms of preparation and how confident are you feeling in the U.S.? 
I think we're really confident. Uh, we just got done, you know, with some games, and uh, I like the way that we're looking. Now is uh, the end of my season, so time to get a little bit of rest. But then right back to work, and having a World Cup in the winter is going to be something special. So we're uh, we're looking forward to it. We appreciate you being here. We'll let you rest at some point. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Christian Pulisic. <laughs>